I'm Kyle Jorgensen. Right now I've got a piece of 12 inch P91 pipe in the, in the pipe master. This is a 32 inch pipe master. That particular pipe has a wall of 1.337. And I'm gonna program a U bevel on the machine here in a second. And I'm gonna program it with a, with a counter bore, with a tapered counter bore. Now we're using our standard universal tool which allows us to do a counter bore plus machine the face, so to speak of our pipe, this is set up. Now I'm just in handle, if I go to MDI, um, I just face that pipe, so if I pull my U-bevel, load it. Now I can, 50, I can store 50 programs here, and I can go into each one of them and quickly change the program. So I've already, you know, I already went through this, but so I got my pipe thickness of 1.337. I'm going to program it in a root face of 0.125. A1 thickness, three quarter. Inner diameter process depth. So my D3 is here. So I'm going in three eighths or 375. D4 is 0.278. So my bore, uh, round process steps, or my the depth, so you can see right there, D5. 0.085, round, I've got a radius there, so I've programmed a 0.157. Outer diameter is 22, 10, and then 60. Tool distance is a 2.126, is that standard universal tool we use. Our process thickness, I'm gonna, I programmed in a 0.125, that's how big a chip or how much load. Now, all this criteria to get these dimensions have gotta make sense for the type of pipe that I'm I'm doing. I mean, obviously, if I don't have, you know, you add these numbers up and I don't have that much round wall, it's going to give it error. It's not going to work. But there's our program. Save it. Switch to auto. So I've got, uh, there's our passes. Start. Actually, it's eight passes. So the machine's coming into position for this pass one. If I touch feed hold, machine is going to stop. Be able to move our chips. That's a good idea to push these down so you don't pick them up again. Optionally, we can get a chip conveyor, but. So if I release my feed hole, I'm going to return. Pass four.
Just hit bead hole again. Hit the feed hold again. See, right now we're at five minutes, 45 seconds. Now, a little different chip breaker on my carbide insert works a little better for this, but it's okay. What I'm talking about by chip breaker. You can see these inserts has to do with this internal that chip curls. I mean a tighter curl, a little deeper pocket right here would bust my chips, but it's a lot of different types of inserts. Thousands of them, styles and types, depending on what you're doing. So lock. Seven. Just switch to the internal. Come on, pass one of three. 
use it finishes this pass, I'll feed hold it. So we finished our internal, or the external. We just finished our first pass on the internal. We got two more passes. Sixteen seconds. With some feed holds in there. What is it? Hmm? I was just using the hand wheel. Move the Z back. There's our U-bevel, a lot of people call it a J-bevel, I do too. 